Hi fam, um, coming on to make a really quick video and I know I'm, I'm super late um, because I heard this news very soon after it had happened and I know a lot of people in the YouTube um, natural hair community already know um, of the passing of Danielle, um, a fellow YouTube vlogger. Uh, she, I didn't know her personally. I've been watching her channel for about a year now and she, she just comes across as such a very warm and loving person. I tell you, her passing really hit me hard. I mean, I'm still grieving over Blondell here and then you know, to hear that Danielle passed and I had recently, uh, before I'd heard the news, watched one of her latest videos where she was talking about her little bump and, she, you know, she was heavily pregnant. She was eight months pregnant, I believe, and it was almost time for her to give birth and she said she was fine and, and then to hear that, it was like, whoa, whoa. Wow. Life is short, y'all. Life is ultra, ultra short. And we don't, you know, no day is promised to us. No moment is, is promised to us. So we've got to make the best of our lives. You know, we've got to make the best of each moment. Um, Danielle has, you know, has left behind such a legacy, not only in the natural hair community, but through her children as well, through her friends. Um, and that's the other thing, the baby um, was saved. So the baby, I think, is doing fine. Um, guys, if you want more information on what you can do for the family, check out Taste the Red Bones um, videos, her latest videos, because I think there's a... Well, I know there's a virtual baby shower. Uh, Danielle was able to register on the Babe Saros um, registry for her little, so her little boy, um, his little baby boy. So check out Tasty Red Bones um, YouTube channel to get th that information or her Facebook page. I will try and put the links below, but my computer is just doing all sorts. I'm just hoping that I can upload this video. Um, yes, yeah, so I, I'm basically just coming on to say my goodbyes uh, to Daniel and say rest in peace. And just to encourage y'all, just live your life to the fullest and live your life being good, being a good person. Um, wow. Anyway, I am... Just going to take a time out to light a candle for Danielle. I'm going to put that to the side. Um, you know, one of the things that offers me some comfort is it, it, it's being a Christian and I guess you don't have to be a Christian to be comfortable but having a belief in God and a belief that this life isn't all there is you know I, I do believe in eternal life um, I was reading the Bible um, before and in 2nd Corinthians 5 and don't worry people I'm not preaching in 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 1 it says, For we know that when this earthly tent we live in is taken down, when we die and leave these bodies, we will have a home in heaven, an eternal body made for us by God himself. And that gives me some comfort, you know, knowing that, yes, although Blondell and Danielle have passed, two beautiful, beautiful sisters have passed. They have passed from this life, but they will have an even more beautiful body 
made by God's hands. And that, that offers me some comfort. And yeah, it still hurts, <laughs> you know. I still grieve and I can only imagine what the family are going through. And people, I do encourage you to help out with um, Danielle's uh, baby registry. And if you can't, I mean, I understand that not everybody can give in that way, but offer up your prayers for the family, um, for strength. Um, for provision for for the family because this has been so sudden um, and for comfort as well okay y'all I I haven't even been able to, to process this news properly I haven't been able to do any videos or anything like that those will be coming shortly but I just wanted to say my peace and rest in peace Danielle such a beautiful spirit